We are here today because we have decided which path we want to take. We are the ones making a difference. If no one else will take action, then so will we. It, it should not be that way. We should not be the ones fighting for the future. And yet here we are, since basically no one is doing anything. Some would say we are wasting lesson time. We say we are changing the world. So that when we are older, we will be able to look back and say that we did everything we could. And we will continue to do so. We will continue to fight for our future and for the living planet. So, um, my name is Indigo and I come from an occupied forest in Western Germany. This forest is supposed to be cut down because there's coal under it. And um, we went into the forest with tree houses to try to prevent it from being cut down. This forest has been occupied for nearly seven years now. Um, but the resistance in this area is much older. This uh, coal mine started 40 years ago and local people have resisted ever since. But since seven years the whole struggle got more international because it got the thing of like fighting climate change instead of just um, being against the mine because it's destroying the landscape there. So um, it's a very international struggle now and it's not just for protecting the climate or the area but it's about climate justice. So we say that we cannot fight climate change in a system that's based on exploitation. So we need to have another economic system in order to live su sustainable on this planet. Climate change is nothing that is limited on national boundaries and um, it's actually a problem of huge global injustice because in Northern Europe we produce the CO2, we make the emission there, but we are not the countries who are most affected. So it's kind of our global responsibility to stop CO2 emission right there, right where it comes from. The Hambach lignite mine, together with the other mines there, are the biggest source of CO2 in whole Europe. La nostra idea è quella di fare tutto il possibile per fermare, non so, per fermare i cambiamenti climatici, ma più in generale per cambiare un sistema, un sistema che è evidente che ci sta portando al collasso. E questo la, i dati scientifici lo dicono chiaramente e il, lo vediamo già intorno a noi, qui e ora. Quindi non c'è più tempo, dobbiamo assolutamente iniziare ad agire. E però il nostro metodo è un metodo che si fonda, che abbiamo in comune in tutto il mondo, sulla non violenza. Quindi noi vogliamo fare azioni dirette non violente e, e mostrare con metodi di comunicazione creativa il, il problema è anche cominciare ad affrontarlo, cioè a trovare delle soluzioni e noi vogliamo trovare delle soluzioni prima di tutto creando delle assemblee cittadine che vadano a affiancare il decisore politico e eh, vadano a trovare delle, delle soluzioni che siano condivise. Il punto è quello che eh, dobbiamo cambiare il nostro sistema socio-economico per creare un, una società che sia più giusta. Che...